So now we're sticking with grid method, but looking at multiplying decimal numbers. So I've got the question 7.8 multiplied by 3. Following the same pattern as before, I'm going to partition this number into units and into the, the decimals, into the tenths. So I've got 7, and I've got 0 0.8, and they make up the 7.8. I'm going to multiply those by 3. First part is 3 times by 7, which is 21. And your next part, I know that 3 times 8 is 24. But it's 0 0.8, so this has to be 10 times smaller. So if it was 24 here, I'm going to make it 10 times smaller, that would be 2.4. Now, in adding them up now, I just need to be careful that I get all of the digits and all the numbers in the correct column. So I'm going to start with my 21. I know 21 is a whole number. I'm just going to, just to remind me, I want to put the decimal point in just so I know where that would go. So that when I put my 2.4 in, I can see that I've put everything in the correct place value. So now I've got 0 and 4 is 4. I'm going to carry my decimal point down. 2 plus 1 is 3. And 2 plus nothing is 2. And my answer is 23.4. So we go again for a different one. So the first thing I do is partition the number 6 and 0 0.9 multiplied by 4. 6 times 4 is 24. 4 times 9 is 36. However, this decimal point means it's 10 times smaller. So my decimal point will be there. I want to make it 10 times smaller which means it's going to be there. Make sure I'm careful when I'm adding them up. So I have 24. I'm just going to put the decimal point in so I know where it is. 3.6. Add them together. Nothing is 6. It is 6. Make sure I move the decimal point down. 4 plus 3 is 7. And 2 add nothing is 2. So I've got 27.6. That's multiplying decimals with a grid method.